Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to get to the Gatwick Airport South Terminal Long Stay Car Park. This is the official Gatwick Airport Long Stay Parking. Now the good thing about this long stay parking is you get to keep your key so nobody is going to move your vehicle and the car park is situated on the airport campus and there's 24 hour security patrols. If you're going to be using the long stay car park you need to pre-book this and I'll put a link in the description on how to get to their website and do all that. And by pre-booking it you put in your registration details and then when you come up to the barrier it will do ANPR which is Automatic Number Plate Recognition System and it will know that you've pre-booked and automatically raise the barrier and give you a ticket to let you in. What I'll do is I'll just let this all run at real time so you can see exactly how to get there, exactly how it all works, then we'll go off and have a nice holiday and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to exit the car park. And it's really important that you watch it to the end because if you don't exit the car park properly you can accidentally go back through the airport and then you will have to pay the drop-off fee which is currently five pounds so definitely make sure you watch the end part of the video just so you know exactly where you're going when you exit the car park and as i mentioned at the beginning of this video i'll let this all run in real time just so you can see exactly where you're going so we're coming along to Gatwick Airport South at the moment. We're in a 50 miles an hour zone. And we're coming up to a roundabout and we're going to veer left into the Gatwick South Terminal. Now this is a filter system, so you don't have to stop on the roundabout. You can just veer left. So we're filtering round to the left. Big South Terminal up there. We're entering a 30 miles an hour zone. Now at this point stay in the left hand lane. And you'll see some pretty small signs actually saying long stay car park on your left. And here it is on the left here. So bear left into here. I mean the signposts are very small, it's not particularly obvious. This just shows you here, if you're doing a pickup, you can park for two hours for free. If you've already pre-booked, that's absolutely fine. We'll just carry on to the barriers. So follow the signs for the car park. And we're coming up to the barriers here. Now this is where you've got the ANPR cameras. At this point, if you pre-booked, it will automatically scan in your number plate and know that you've already booked. So if you pre-booked, press yes on the screen and it should give you a ticket with a reference number on it. Make sure you keep hold of that. You don't actually need that to get on the shuttle bus, but you can just take it with you or you can just leave it in your vehicle. Then go and find a place to park. This is directing us to the nearest spaces, which is in zone C. Obviously, depending how busy the airport is, depends where it's going to direct you to. During school half term holidays and summer holidays, it's going to be very busy. So it's directing us to zone C. Once you reach zone C, all you need to do is find a spare parking space. And the great thing about 
Gatwick Airport Longstay car park, as I mentioned at the beginning, is you get to keep your keys. So there's no chance of anybody moving your vehicle off site or moving in anywhere else. An absolute impossibility. And that's a nice feature of this car park because lots of people, well, like me as well, don't like people driving their motors. Make a note on your phone of what zone you're in and the bus stop number because it'll be easy to forget after a week's holiday. So we're at bus stop nine. The shuttle buses arrive every 10 to 12 minutes. Just jump on one of those. Make sure you've got your passport and your suitcases and any relatives or partners or children that you're taking with you. Then jet off and have a fantastic holiday. And this is a week later after sunbathing and having lots and lots of fun. Just taking off from Sicily. Then coming back into Gatwick and obviously it's England, so it's windy, it's raining and it's cloudy. But that's why we go on holiday. Bit of a bumpy land in this one. That's all part of the fun. I feel the need, the need for speed. Fabulous, all safely landed. Then obviously exit the aeroplane, pick up your luggage, then make your way to the coaches section and the long stay car park. Buses again are every 10 to 12 minutes on a permanent cycle. And this is the shuttle bus here and it says on the front, long stay south car park. Make sure you get the correct bus. This is the official GatwickParking.com shuttle bus, which is where we came from. This will take you to all the zones. All you need to do is press the button when you want to get off. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. And there is the beast there, exactly where we left it. Now it's time to exit the car park. Follow the exit signs, which will direct you to the exit barrier. Grace, did you see the stories of Joe and Jeff? Yeah. Did you see the stories of your mother? I think so. Did it? No, I think I did. Oh, it is nice to get away. But it's also nice to come home, because I know that when I get home, I'll be able to boil the kettle and have a lovely cup of tea. Oh, do miss a nice English cup of tea. Follow the signs around to the exit. And we're coming up to the barriers here. Now you may not actually have to put your ticket in the machine, because it uses ANPR, the Automatic Number Plate Recognition System, it will know that you've already paid and you've come up to the end of your holiday and the barrier should automatically raise. If it doesn't, you can put your ticket in the machine. If that still doesn't work, you can get out of the motor and go and see reception, but it all should just work seamlessly. And here we go, the barrier is already raised and we're off. Now, as I mentioned right at the beginning of the video, it's really, really important that you exit in the correct way because if you accidentally go through the airport drop-off zone, you will have to pay the drop-off or pick-up fee, which is currently five pounds and it's only gonna go upwards. So I'm just gonna pause the video here and just highlight it here. Make sure you exit to the M23, M25 via the Hilton Hotel. Now it's very easy to accidentally drive straight past this if you've got lots of people yapping away in your motor and you're not concentrating fully. So make sure everyone's nice and quiet and you know exactly where you're going. So we're staying in the right hand lane here. 
So to avoid the drop off charge, keep to the right hand side. And we've got the exit sign coming up here, telling us to exit to the M23. And we're taking this road on the right hand side, right here. And that means we've avoided going back through the airport by accident and paying the drop off fee. And that would be a not very good end to your holiday. I'll still keep this running in real time just so you know exactly where you're going. <laughs> Coming up to the end of this junction here and we can only turn right. This is going to bring us on to the M23. You didn't get any onion barges. Then you can continue your journey to take you home. And then you can have a lovely cup of tea. And in fact, I think when I get home, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Absolutely fabulous. And I hope you've had a fantastic holiday and that was useful to you. Up on the top left hand corner there's a video on how to keep your curtains super smooth on the curtain rails. That is a top tip. And on the top right hand side is a video on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Now it's time for that cup of tea.